keep you in touch if there's a goal. So to the monumental game at the bottom of the Premiership. Charlton at home to Sheffield United. It stands out as a crucial match in the battle to beat the drop. West Ham play Everton. Watford will be relegated if they don't beat Manchester City. Leaders of Manchester United face Middlesbrough later. Chasers Chelsea are at Newcastle tomorrow. Here's the bottom then as it stands. Watford on the verge of going down. West Ham five points from safety and with the worst goal difference. And then the two teams meeting today at the Valley. A home win will see Charlton going above Sheffield United as Jonathan Pearce reports. If anyone takes the blame, it's the players. We've um, perhaps underperformed this year. We're as disappointed as anybody with the situation that we find ourselves in. Since promotion in 2000, Charlton have been admired for their astute business-like attitude to Premiership football. At the business end of the season, that could all be lost. After 15 years with Alan Kerbishley steadying the ship, the club was pitched headlong into a season of uncertainty. It was always going to be difficult for someone to try and follow in his footsteps. Um, and unfortunately, you know, results didn't go our way at the start of the season. We had a tough start to the season in terms of fixtures. You know, we had a lot of new faces and ultimately, you know, Ian Gary paid the price and, and lost his job. How much did the players accept Les Reed as, as a replacement? I think Les's job was, was difficult in terms of, of the fact that he was probably, you know, here alongside Ian as a coach and then, you know, to try and step up to be a manager um, w was probably difficult for him. So Les paid the price at Christmas and, and um, Alan Pardew is now the manager and, and done a fantastic job since he's been here. How has he done that? Well, I mean, he's been very positive from day one and um, he's given us good direction, told us exactly what he wants from his teams, how he wants us to play and um, he's given players belief in themselves and it probably needed that. There is this feeling sometimes in your stomach and uh, in, your, in your well-being that things can change and that success isn't far away and I think we've managed to install that in the players that, that there is belief here and uh, let's have a pride in what we do and if we do get relegated then it can be some solace for us that the last part of the season we were terrific. Charlton take on a Sheffield United side buoyed by a crucial victory over West Ham last weekend and a spirited performance on Tuesday in defeat at Manchester United. It's in his own hands, um, you know, but we've just, we just got to take it game by game. I know sometimes people people laugh at that, and it's but you do, you've got to, you know, we've got to, tonight out of the way, now you, now we concentrate on uh, Charlton. You know, it's going to be the same, you know, a hostile atmosphere and uh, a, lot, a lot at stake, and uh, but you know, I think like Charlton's under as much pressure as us as well, so it's you know, one to look forward to if you can do. You always know when you play Sheffield United, you get a total commitment and honesty from that group of players and manager. Uh, no lack of quality either in the likes of Tong and uh, Jagielka, etc. Et They're uh, a very hard working side, um, very together side, you can see that. They've got players with pace as well up front, which can cause us problems. Um, but at the same time, you know, we feel we can get at them and, and um, create things ourselves. To stay up, Charlton must really win today and get something at Blackburn, who could also hold the key to Fulham's fate. Sheffield United seem to have the easiest games after the visit to the Valley but defeat today could yet undermine them. If we were to win two out of our four games, 38 points may well be enough to stay up. Um, you know, there's so many permutations, you look at the fixtures of other clubs, but at the end of the day it's what you do. And if we were to win two, maybe pick up a point somewhere else, we'll have a good chance. The credit we have to have is that we have made a fist of it. And um, you know, two or three months ago, we were leapt off buildings to have this opportunity we got Saturday and we need to try and grab it. We can find ourselves this weekend out the bottom three again with three games to go. So I think what we've achieved in the last sort of 12 games is, is very good, but it's only a job half done and we've still got the other half to do. Well, Jonathan is at the Valley today for us. Jonathan, this time in 1999, Charlton had the same points from the same number of games as they do now and they went down. They did. They won uh, one of their last four and drew one and uh, were well adrift by the end of the season. I, you know, I think they need to win here today. That is absolutely crucial. They'll need to beat uh, Tottenham in their only other home game as well. And I do believe they'll need something at Blackburn Rovers. I'm not too sure whether 38 will keep you in the Premier League this season. The most important thing, though, Mark, is that they are back in the battle. Alan Pardew has created a much more positive feeling about this place since he took over. He's got double the number of points in his 15 games they picked up in the previous 15. 
he's got a well-organized side. Phil Parkinson, who's come in as his assistant, has played a major role in there as well. They're not conceding goals, especially here. It's four games since they conceded a, a home goal in the league. And today they'll have Darren Bent. I think back to some sort of form if he's fit, that is. He's carrying a bit of a thigh strain. Showed that at Everton with that late goal. Heartbreak for them even later when they went down to defeat. But I think he's going to play a crucial role here against a Sheffield United side that know if they get something on this ground, they're staying out of the bottom three and they are very, very close. They've got the easier fixes to come. Jonathan, thank you very much indeed. Kevin, you used to be uh, Neil uh, Warnock's assistant. So, a day like today, does, does he wind them up or actually does he need to calm them down a little bit with so much at stake? It's a fine line to draw, isn't it? I think very much so. But I think the lads have known for quite a while that this was one of the big games. Um, Neil's very superstitious. He'll be nervous as hell and I think the lads will definitely know that. But, uh, you know, I spoke to Alan a couple of weeks ago. Alan was very, very confident that they could, they could get out of it. And uh, looking at it now, what a, what a way to build a game up for, to this one today. And, and whoever wins, you say, gets a psychological advantage of going out of the bottom three. And just briefly, you two were looking at the table there, the, the games to come, and you were both saying maybe Fulham are the team, actually, that really need to watch out. I think there's always a team that's just outside that no-one's really looked at, and all of a sudden they pop in, and, and Fulham are in danger. Some tough they've games. got to win today at Some home against games. Blackburn. And the other games they've got, Liverpool, Arsenal, Middlesbrough away, it's tough. Okay, all the action to come later. You've seen